click the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this module, I'll demonstrate some ways to remove unwanted objects from a photo. This is a useful skill that you'll very likely need to use at some point. Like most things in PSE, there are multiple ways to accomplish this task. I'll be using this photo of the Utah Cultural Celebration Center. Let's say I want to take out these patches of grass, remove this hydrant, the lights in the corner here, and maybe even take out the geese, though I like them in this picture. I'll mainly be using the clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush tool for these edits. So because these tools edit the pixels in your image, I'm going to duplicate this original layer so that I can always go back and compare. Now let's zoom in to see exactly what's going on. First I will try to take out these clumps of grass from the sidewalk with the spot healing brush tool. I want to choose a soft brush and let's see how well this does. I don't love these results so I'm going to undo them and let's try the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to sample this dry patch of the sidewalk here and I'll actually take it from where this line is so that I can recreate the seam in the sidewalk. I'll hold down the Alt key and click to define my source point. And now you can see that if I do that a couple of times and come over here, pick up some of this grass, I'm more or less able to clean that up. Now I'll do the same on the other side. I'll clone over these little patches, and then I'll take on this big patch over here. You might need to choose Alt and re-click your source a few times. Once you get the hang of this, this is a pretty useful tool for removing objects that you don't want. And I'll just do the same again over here and get rid of this little patch there. So now you can see that the grass patches are gone. It's not perfect. Um, I can certainly finesse this, but for starters, this isn't too bad. So now I'll go on to other parts of this image. Let's look at this fire hydrant here. I'll try the spot healing brush tool and see if it's able to take care of this for me. So I just draw over the whole hydrant and this is okay, but it could certainly be better. So I go over it one more time to see if it can match the background. And that actually did an okay job. Let's go into the clone stamp tool and another way that I could have taken care of that is to select part of this grass here using Alt and click, and then go over and clone it a couple of times. Now I'll go up to this edge of the picture where the corner of these lights are barely visible, but they are a little bit distracting. I'll use this example to show you what this aligned box can do for you. So with this checked, I'll make my brush size bigger with my right bracket key. I'm going to choose part of this sky that I want to cover up those lights with. So I hold down the Alt key and click. And now you can see that as I'm going straight down, the tool is pulling pixels from the sky straight down and following where my brush is going. So this is a circumstance where you certainly would want to use the Aligned feature. Now I'm going to zoom out, and here's another tip for you. If you are in the Zoom tool and you want to toggle between Zoom In and Zoom Out without having to reselect it every time, you can see that Zoom In is selected. If I hold the Alt key, 
that changes it to zoom out. And with the Alt key held down, I can click and zoom out. This is what my image looks like so far, and I'm going to show you before so you can see the changes I've made. And as you can see, taking those distracting things out helped the picture. In the next video, I'll show you a couple more things that are related to this. That's it for this video about removing unwanted objects. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.